Thank you, Commissioners. Uh, moving on to our action items, tab three, item number one is the Southern Kent Island Sanitary Project. And I'd like to ask Todd and Alan and Steve if he wants to to come up. And Patrick's here too. So why don't all four of you come up in case there's any questions? We have four seats and there's four of you. Going down. <coughs> Thank you, Greg. Always a pleasure. Mm. Good evening, Commissioners. We have before you the Southern Kent Island Sanitary Project construction bids. As you know, we received six bids at the end of June for the construction contracts necessary to provide sewer service to phase one of the Southern Kent Island Sanitary Project. Uh, on the monitor here shows the overall project for phases. Phase one includes Kent Island Estates and Roman Cove, community collection lines and the trunk main that comes from the wastewater plant in Stevensville down to service those properties. And the third contract is for the individual installation of the step systems on each of the home sites in uh, phase one. In addition to the information here in your package, we did provide the uh, contractor bid bonds as requested and uh, the standard performance bonds just for information for your uh, review. <coughs> and we, uh, we su summarized the, the three contracts in the memo before you. We received two bids on each of the three contracts. Uh, the first contract is for the step system. The low bidder was Cole Ventures uh, from Annapolis in the amount of $15.6 million. The second contract for the community mains, the low bidder was uh, Schumer Incorporated from Mayo, Maryland, uh, $6.191 million. Contract three was also from Schumer. That was for the transmission main, uh, $7.025 million. So we have um, thoroughly reviewed the contract documents, as has the county attorney. And uh, the next step would be to uh, send these off to MDE for their review and concurrence uh, subject to the, the award by this board. I move to conditionally award the following three bids with the condition being the approval of the bids by the Maryland Department of the Environment and authorize the Director of Public Works to execute each construction contract once MDE approves all contract bids as follows. Contract 16-01, septic tank effluent pump installation to Coal Ventures of Annapolis, Maryland in the amount of $15,600,150. Contract 16-02, community mains installation to Schumer Incorporated of Mayo, Maryland in the amount of $6,191,750. And contract 16-03, transmission main installation to Schumer Incorporated of Mayo, Maryland in the amount of $7,025,316. Is there a second? Second. All right, we have a motion and a second. We now open for discussion amongst the commissioners and any questions that need to be asked to the body before us. I do. Uh, I heard this a couple of times. Greg, do we have the terms and conditions already worked out on the loan? No, we don't. We are working with MDE on that. Uh, it's, uh, they typically wait until it's approved okay. by the county before they finalize the uh, Terms and uh, terms of the loan. There's also at the next meeting, if this is approved, there'll be a resolution from bond council because there's there's requirements for that. So there's still some processes to go through before that's finalized. Thank you. Uh, uh, you've had some discussions with uh, the secretary of MDE, and how did you find their desire to cooperate with this project? Oh, well, they were incredibly supportive. Um, they've bent over backwards to help us get to the finish line like to the great move Mayoke. forward. And no more. we've gotten the assurances from MDE that they will work with us through this project for the next the 20 years, whatever it takes to get it to completion. So it felt very good after meeting with MDE. I, I think the only thing I want to add to this is there's some of the comments that we heard here uh, earlier that, uh, you know, Jack and, and, and Mark, I, you know, I want to I want to thank you. I mean, as a sitting commissioner and, and having been here for a year uh, before you gentlemen came on, I was privy to a lot of information. Uh, and you, you came aboard, you saw the same information, and you, did, you made the same uh, summations that I did about, you know, this is the right thing to do. This is the only way to correct the problem. And, and, and I think that that speaks volumes for your character to, to see something uh, wrong and want to fix it. And, and I, I, for one, uh, thank you for that. <clears throat> when a commissioner is elected, you swear an oath to do the best you can do, and that is based upon gathering the truth. 
Many of the things that we heard when we were running were from those who opposed the project. Uh, I myself raised a number of the questions that were raised and continue to be raised. I found the answers. Uh, <clears throat> there were discussions of traffic jams on Route 8. Not going to happen. There are uh, issues associated with uh, actually some actually saying there, there are no problems in South Kent Island. Well, there are, and they're substantial. And if you lived in a house where the sewer backed up, or it didn't work, or you couldn't sell it, uh, <clears throat> that, that's a problem. But the thing that focuses my attention is what public health is all about. Uh, <clears throat> having been an executive in a big business and having oversight on safety, health, and welfare in the dispensary, you want to keep people out of those facilities by preventing uh, a problem. <clears throat> Early on, our health officer made a very clear and unequivocal statement that public health is really about prevention. You don't want something to happen. Uh, there have been some arguments back and forth of whether or not something has happened. Uh, we hear uh, comments of uh, animals having microbial uh, infections, uh, uh, kids having rashes. You know, uh, that's anecdotal. What I don't want to see is somebody that really gets sick because in the course of human history, human beings and raw sewage have never got along together together. Never, ever. Uh, and I'm not going to sit in, a, in this <clears throat> responsible position knowing full well that, one, the step system will work. Why do I know that? because the people who were against it said, check this place, check that place, I did. <clears throat> uh, one of the areas was Lacey, Washington. Well, they're having lots of problems. Well, we did a uh, telephone conference call. Several of these gentlemen were on that call. All the commissioners were invited to be on that call. Uh, the question was asked because I coordinated it. You guys have a problem out there? They said, yeah, we do. I said, really? They said, but now we've got a question for you. What's the topography of Ken Island? Well, I live there, and the answer was it's basically flat. You have uh, a sewer run, a main, that starts uh, eight miles uh, down from the processing plant and gradually goes up 11 feet. You know what they said? This system's perfect for you, perfect. They're also willing to come out and be advisors to our group. There's also a step system in Talbot County, and they're willing to help advise. This is one of the most highly subsidized installations for homeowners. Uh, if I was a part of it, I'd have to get the Ethics Commission to pass me being able to vote on the thing. Every conceivable thing that was raised, uh, the traffic, uh, 1,600 lots that uh, are less than 20,000 square feet uh, and are not buildable now, get hooked to sewer, well, they're all going to automatically have houses filled with kids and three cars, and we're going to have a mess. Well, guess what? Our predecessors put into the law, and it got it passed in the <coughs> legislature, to consolidate, <coughs> consolidate those lots so that now not 1,600 lots are up for grabs. Uh, we have, what, less than 600 that can be built. Those 600 are not going to be built tomorrow. The, you know, the, the, the pent-up sales for existing homes, because people want to sell and can't, will be far cheaper and people will buy into those because it'll be hooked to public sewer. I hear talk about uh, Mr. Quinn and his suits. Mr. Quinn has lost every single time. 
and he isn't going to win this one either. It's just another abstraction raised to slow the process down while our neighbors are suffering with financial loss and, risk and risking health problems. We have a real estate situation that is contributing to uh, problems in our water. One of the gentlemen spoke uh, living on the water of a deterioration that he actually which witnessed over the course of his time here. Uh, my uh, experience drifts back to uh, being a part of a sand and gravel operation. What do you do? You get borings. Underneath this island, underneath the western shore, is a impermeable layer of marine clay. When we get a rain, a big snow, and a sudden melt, that water percolates through drain fields. It heads to that impermeable layer, and it then goes down gradient. Where's the down gradient? The down gradient is the trench in the Chesapeake Bay. It's the deep part off my pier on Shipping Creek. That's where it goes. You like the stink this year from the sea lettuce? Nobody liked it. Well, guess what? What was different this year from last year, tremendous rainfall, snow, all that <clears throat> percolated through, not just off of Kent Island, but up and down the bay. We got nutrients. And you know what else we got? We got sunlight because the bay <coughs> was clearer this spring than it's been in years. Algae bloom. Uh, you know, <clears throat> For those of you out there waving signs and so forth, I'm not elected uh, to fulfill promises. I'm elected to do what's right. And what's right to me is based on the truth and what's fair to the most people. And that's what you get. If you don't like it, there's an election. Call to vote. Uh, is there anyone else who wish to make a comment? Sure. What you folks are going to hear tonight is something you're going to hear a lot of evenings, which is all the commissioners don't agree. And I assure you that with the same calm and sure uh, confidence, that with a very good conscience, I'm going to vote differently than a number of our other commissioners. And I'd like to remind you that like Mr. Reagan, I'm not going to bring into question their youth and inexperience. You know, it's I'm just as old as you are. <laughs> Not quite. <laughs> <laughs> I feel it sometimes. Anyway, um, there are a lot of issues that go in this, and trying to say that all of them stack up on one side of the seesaw is not the case. There are issues of finance, of risk, of fairness, and with a very good conscience, I'm voting against it, but with uh, a good clear conscience and regard for what I regard as the best interest of the people. Call the vote. I, uh, we have a second uh, on a motion, and uh, I will call the vote on this phase one as it was presented and seconded. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. Yes, he opposed. Right, so three to two, it passes. Phase one's in. The sort is going to happen. Thank you, commissioners.